So yellow lenses are of great debate because a lot of people will tell you these are incredible lenses for nighttime. I have never been a huge fan of wearing any sort of a tint or filter at night because, well, you're cutting down the light passing through the lens. Now, of course, if you're on the fence that says it's great for nighttime, well, there's a few reasons why it can be, and that's because it boosts contrast and it does brighten and, brighten and enhance the light that does manage to make it through the lens. As you can see here, that looks much brighter than that. Same over here in our dusky dark environment with that yellow. You can still get kind of that impression of the brightness enhancing. There you go. Yeah, we can even see that as we get closer to the wall there, that nice intense yellow color kind of distributing throughout. The thing with these, they are great for enhancing and brightening light, but the thing that's bad is they are great for enhancing and brightening light. Now you're looking at me and you're scratching my head and you're like, what the hell is he talking about? Well, if you're going down a little country road in the middle of the night and you have this on and everything's all bright and dandy and hunky-dory and now all of a sudden a car comes out of nowhere with those insanely bright headlights and you have the misfortune of directing your gaze directly into those bright little lights that are brighter than they would have been. <laughs> I don't advise doing that with or without any sort of thing on your yeah eyes because yeah it's not good either way is not good this is just a little bit worse but the advantage of course is that you highlight those in lower light areas with this lens you increase the contrast overall because you're brightening up the bright areas and it's good in that regard. But I find where these lenses really, really shine is actually low to moderate light, which is gonna be your hazy, cloudy days. Really an overcast, rainy situation is where this really comes to life and shines because then it's just cutting down the glare of everything to a modest level. You don't have this huge contrast difference between darkness or a moonlit only, or even worse, a new moon night with nothing except a little bit of stars, and now all of a sudden a bright object coming at you, right? In the daytime, that's much more dialed back, so the eyes can be adjusted to the brightness of this on everything. If you're ever confused on this, find your nearest yellow lens, walk outside in broad daylight, look right at the sun, put them over your face and go, oh God, he was right. That's where the fight ends, okay? The other fun little use for these, not talked about as often, but definitely as or more important, is what you will see right over here, etched in the bottom corner of this lens, which you can't really get on camera, but that is BL99%. This and most other yellow lenses are going to block almost all blue light from passing through the lens because just right here. Blue is not blue anymore, right? Yeah, exactly. All the blue is gone. I don't feel like I need to say anything else about that. So if you care about blocking blue light, this will definitely do that job nicely, which again is why I like it in those rainy overcast situations. They call it the night links. I'll call it the storm links because that's where it's gonna do its best. So yeah, pick your poison with these guys. I live on the fence that it's better for that in between. Twilight is another good use for these. So as you've got, sun's gone down for the day or it hasn't quite come up, but all of the light is peeking over. Maybe it's a foggy morning, maybe it's not, but you're still gonna get a nice enhancement on everything for these. And then the sun's gonna crest over the mountain. You're gonna go, oh God, it's a fireball in the sky. And then you're gonna grab your other sunglasses, right? Because surely this isn't the only one you've got. Now, all that said, I do know some people that wear these pretty regularly. Maybe not as crisp of a yellow as this, something more in this family, kind of that pastel yellow we've got on the wall over here. 
but they wear it all the time and pretty comfortably. I find usually after cataract surgery, that's one that does really well because the eyes have been used to for so, so long, it's had this kind of a dense, hazy, yellow look through it anyways. This is more of a return to normal in that case, right? Because we're used to not having all of the scatter of the blue, it's hitting the eye, the lens is mostly yellow on its own, so guess what? It's blocking a lot of the blue colors out there. Color rendering with these though, hmm. yeah, muddy, <laughs> muddy. Blues are gone, greens are dialed back, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. We'll get this guy out in the wild. I'll show you a few different situations. I'll see, I will try my best, I promise, to get on camera how this works in low light, hazy conditions. It may take me a while to get this one, but we'll get it in a wide range of situations because I feel like that's what this one does really well. It's a wide range of situations with varying light conditions. Like I said, bright sun, mm -mm. nope. <laughs> Dark country roads, you'll see. You'll see. You'll want to find me over it right now, but you'll see. <sighs> if nothing else, it's a really cool looking lens and I will stand behind that all day long as it goes flying across the room and fortunately didn't shatter. Forgot that one was not hardened. Hmm. Now, go on over, check it out out in the real world, see what you think. Let me know what you think about this video and the other lens series. This is number five, the yellow lenses. Next, uh, we'll see what I can get my hands on to go forward from there. Let me know what colors you would like to see next or if we should just dive on into the mirror, 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 <laughs> mirror, 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 mirrored variations to see what subtle tweaks they have on all of these base colors so we can start really fine tuning things and going from there. Outside of that, that's all for me. Now you're on to the real world. I'll catch you guys next time.